Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. So it's Memorial Day weekend, but I have my board still, so I'm still studying. But Asad very nicely brought some things that we can barbecue, so we're gonna have a mini barbecue to celebrate Memorial Day. Uh. Doesn't this look so delicious? Now we're gonna eat and I'm gonna go back to study. So as per someone's request, I'm gonna do a quick desk tour of what I have. So it's pretty standard. Um, I talked about my laptop stand before. I have some of the books that I'm using right here. I have my pens here, more pens. I like to have floss on hand so I can floss. More books and notebooks and um, having this roll of paper towel has come in kind of handy when I'm eating or something so that's there. And here are some of my books. A quick tip if you guys are planning on going to med school or if you guys are enrolling soon, um, if you know anyone who's going to be a third year or fourth year reach out to them and see if they're willing to give away their books or sell the books for a cheap price. Um, I got pretty much all the books here, all of these books here for free from my friend, my high school friend who graduated um, as I, I was coming in as an incoming first year. So I didn't really have to buy any of the books. Of course, I bought the first aid book um, and some of the more recent books that I needed. Um, so I have more books here. My whiteboard, my US Emily Step 1 secret. Oh, I can show you that. That's a secret. So, and I want to show you guys something cool here. So, this is a notebook called Body Minder Workout and Exercise Journal. Um, it's pretty much where I log all my workouts. I like to do a physical notebook copy instead of doing a phone because I like to look at um, my past workouts and see how much I've progressed since, since then. Um, so if you can see, there's a, there's an area for writing down all your workouts and your reps and weights, and it gives you a total of four sets. Um, you can do you can use two lines if you need to do more than four sets, but it's very nice. It has separate area for your dietary notes and other exercises like cardio or whatever, which I don't really use. I just use it for um, lifting weights. Um, so definitely a very good notebook if you're into logging your workouts and. Let me know if you guys are interested in my workout routine. Um, as you guys know, it's my other passion. Definitely let me know. And sorry about that creepy picture right there, but that's what I was studying. Hey, Beb, wanna go to dinner? Okay, let's go. All right. So I just got back from dinner, and as you guys know, I've been studying for step for several weeks now. And I just wanted to share some tips with you guys um, that I learned along the way on how to not procrastinate and how to make the most of your study time and how to not get distracted. So the most important tip, and I cannot believe how big of a difference this made, is turning your phone off, turning off all the notifications on your phone and on your computer. The best thing is really to keep your phone out of sight. So I usually like to keep it in the other room so I don't even, I don't hear it, I don't think about it, I don't see it, it's just out of sight, out of mind. Right. So that's number one tip and that has made a huge difference in how I study. Number two is knowing exactly what you're going to study. So um, I've shared my schedule with you guys before and every night I go over what I'm going to do the next day. So I like to make a list of you know, like what sketchy videos I'm going to watch, what topics I'm going to study, what resources I'm going to use. So when, it, when it's the next day and when it's time to actually study, I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't waste any time. I'm trying to figure out like what to do to study that day. Tip number three is scheduling your caffeine and I'm really guilty of this because when it's the afternoon and you had your, had your lunch and you just get really tired and you want to keep drinking coffee or drinking your energy drink or whatever and that really affects your sleep at night 
and if it affects your sleep that night, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to study as well the following day. So now I try to schedule my caffeine so that I have coffee in the morning and I have another source of caffeine early afternoon and then I don't have any more uh, for the rest of the day. And that ensures that I get a good night's sleep and I can be refreshed the following day. Tip number four is schedule your breaks and stick to it. So I like to do my breaks um, semi-flexibly, which means um, earlier in the day from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is when I take two hours off to go to the gym and have my lunch. Um, and in the afternoon, I have one hour off for dinner time, basically. So um, having those concrete three-hour breaks in a day has really helped me keep to my schedule. Um, my dinner break is not set time, so it's not at like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever, but I basically have my dinner break whenever I'm done with a chunk of stuff that I have planned to do, so I'm not rushing to finish it, but if I get hungry, I can stop it and just take my break whenever I want to. Tip number five is leave your study area when you're taking a break. So if you're like me and you like to watch a TV show or something when you're taking a break, take your computer and go somewhere else because it's so easy to um, watch a TV show or start doing something on your computer during your break time and never go back to actually studying um, when you're supposed to be studying. So I like to have my study area and I only like to study there. And then when I'm taking a break, I like to leave and go somewhere else to take my breaks. That way my mind is all, always associating being in this room with studying and I think that really helps. Another thing I want to add is there's an app on Mac the computer called self-control where you put a list of websites that you don't want to go to during a certain period of time so if you want to go to like Facebook or YouTube or something it doesn't let you during that designated time so it really helps you focus so if you need that kind of external motivation or something then that might be something you want to look into I'll put the information in the description box so that's all the tips that I have I hope that was helpful Hi guys, it's 11 o'clock now. We're watching some basketball. Basketball. <laughs> and I'm doing some Anki at the same time. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked today's vlog. Please leave some comments and some questions that you guys might have. And um, you know, just say hello on Instagram or Twitter or whatever and we will talk to you guys in the next video.